The following is a Glass City Communications production. Welcome to Starfleet Command, sir. Thank you, Lieutenant. You're expected down that hall, sir. Third door on the right. Conference room A317. You must be Captain Stanfield. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Lieutenant Commander John Walker. I'll be counsel for you today. Thank you, Commander. Let's get this over with. Perfect timing then, sir. Here comes the panel. All rise. Please be seated. This hearing is now in session. I'm Admiral Alvin Douglas, Starfleet Judge Advocate General. Along with me on this panel are Captain Jeffrey Pierce of the USS Hathaway and Commodore Laura Stiles, commander of the San Francisco Fleet Yards. Is Captain Edward Stanfield present? He is, sir. I'm Lieutenant Commander John Walker as counsel, sir. So noted. Captain Stanfield, do you have any objection to any of the members serving on this board? None, sir. Do you object to myself serving as a leading officer of this board, Captain? I have no objections, Admiral. Very well, then. This board of inquiry is now in session. Clark, please note the current start date in the log. Captain Stanfield? This board is here to determine the circumstances related to the loss of all but three of the crew of the USS Valkyrie and the loss of the vessel itself. Also to be determined is whether the commander of the vessel was in any way negligent in the loss should be recommended for court-martial proceedings. Do you understand the purpose of this hearing, Captain, and that any and all testimony you give here today is under oath? I do, sir. These are the adventures of the crew of the Starship Valkyrie in peacetime or wartime. Its mission is the same as all of Starfleet's. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To preserve the peace and protect the Federation. To brave the unknown in man's greatest frontier. Episode 205, The Inquiry. Captain Stanfield, let's begin with the reason you were on a shuttlecraft with two crew members when Valkyrie was destroyed. Yes, sir. It all started around Stardate 9785.3. The Valkyrie's been doing a deep space survey when orders came in diverting us to Starbase 44. There we picked up the supplies that were needed for medical relief on Paramore. When we arrived, an ion storm was raging in the system, so I ordered that all supplies be transported down on shuttles. The governor contacted me, and I began talking. If you could come down as well, we've got a situation that I'm hoping Starfleet can assist us with. I'd really appreciate it, Captain. Due to the ion storms, we'll be transporting our cargo down by shuttlecraft. I'll come down aboard one, and we'll get a chance to talk, Governor. I'll see you shortly. Valkyrie out. Andrew, please take the con and oversee the supply mission while I go see the governor. Aye, sir. And before you go, Mr. Elberg wants to speak with you about some experimental work he'd like to do in the engine room. He's working on some of the more technical aspects of the paperwork we received from our run-in with Mr. Clemp those months ago. Go ahead and handle it yourself. I trust your judgment, Andrew. 
Just make sure that while he's working on the experiment, someone is handling any required damage control if needed. These ion storms can be nasty when they want. I'll talk to Paul about them then. And I do know how bad those iron storms can be. One of my cadet cruises had a run-in with one, and I lost two of my classmates from storm damage. Yeah, they can be tricky at times. Keep the ship on yellow alert in case things get rough in orbit. And make sure to batten down the hatches. Hopefully we won't be here very long. You have the bridge. Aye, sir. Shrun, maintain this orbit. Lieutenant Lee, keep a close eye on the sensors with that storm. Yes, sir. Michael, sound yellow alert. Governor, I'm Edward Stanfield, Captain of the Valkyrie. Good to meet you in person, sir. Jeremiah Bartlett, good to meet you too, Captain. Glad you could meet with me. We have a project here on Paramore that I hope you can assist us with. As you know, this system has a lot of ion storm activity, and we've come up with a system of early warning buoys to alert us when a storm is approaching the planet, better and sooner than anything planetbound can give us. What about the sensor satellites you have in orbit? Surely they accomplish the same thing. Eh, somewhat. They're so general in design, they let us keep an eye out for asteroids, meteors, approaching ships, and the like. These are specifically designed for detecting ion storm activity and are built to withstand them. They can be placed out in the system also, giving us better warnings, and that leads us to asking for help. We need a starship to place them out in the system for us. Well, we'd be happy to help, of course. Do they need to be manufactured as well? No, Captain. We've developed and built them already. With your help, we can use your shuttles to transport them to your ship and let you place them for us in specific spots in the system. We've already mapped them out as well. Very well, Governor. If you can have them taken to the spaceport, we'll get them loaded. And if you could transmit the locations you want them placed up to Valkyrie, we'll be all set. Already there and waiting, Captain. We'll transmit the locations momentarily. The Ion Storm has arrived with Force 6 strength. Lieutenant Reed estimates Force 8 by the time you get back to the ship, sir. We're going to be taking off shortly. We should be okay as long as the storm turbulence doesn't get any worse than Force 9. That'll be too rough for the shuttles to come aboard. Yes, sir. We'll keep you updated on the storm. Commander Elbert has been doing some interesting warp calculations that show some promise. He's got a simulation running in the engineering computer core that he wants to show you upon your return as well. Tell him I look forward to it. We'll be back aboard soon. Stanfield out. The shuttle is loaded and we're ready for departure, sir. The other two shuttles departed about 20 minutes ago and should be docking soon. Good. Paramore Control, this is the USS Valkyrie Shuttle Okuda. Requesting clearance from Spaceport Pad 3 to standard orbit and rendezvous with USS Valkyrie. Shuttle Okuda, this is Paramore Traffic Central. Clearance is granted. Departure at your convenience, Vector 274 to requested orbit. Acknowledged. Thank you, Paramore. Okuda out. All right, Ensign. Let's go. Closing on the ship, sir. We're at 525 kilometers and closing. The turbulence is getting worse, though. Be careful. All this bouncing around from the storm is taking systems offline. And the computer core near you is running an experimental warp simulation. Don't mess with it. I want it running so we can show the captain. Valkyrie signaling ready to dock in Bay 7. The doors are open, 
but the storm is causing them to lose tractor lock sporadically. We may need to abort the landing, Captain. Understood, Ensign. Lieutenant, patch me into the bridge. Aye, sir. Go ahead. Valkyrie, this is the Captain. Now let me hear, Captain. We're going to hold position here for a few minutes. Have Lieutenant Reed give us a storm reading. Aye, sir. Reed here, sir. We're at Force 9 with a few stronger shock waves coming in. The worst will be over in about 15 minutes, with the storm expected to lessen to Force 5. Understood. We'll maintain orbit and wait out the worst of it. Keep us surprised of any of the stronger shock waves, though. Aye, sir. First shock wave in three, two, one. Oh, that was rough. Good thing we're waiting for them to pass. I don't think we've met before, Ensign. Um, Ensign, uh... Decker, sir. Ensign John Decker. I just joined the ship at Starbase 44, sir. Well, welcome aboard Valkyrie, Mr. Decker. Thank you, sir. When did you graduate the Academy, Ensign? About six months ago, sir. My wife delivered our first child just a week before graduation, too. Well, congratulations, Ensign. Uh, boy or girl? Boy. We named him Michael. After my grandfather's middle name. Commodore Matthew Michael Decker. I wondered if you were related to him when I heard your name. Valkyrie reporting another strong wave coming in, sir. Hang on! What the... Valkyrie's gone, sir. What the hell? Sensor scan! Where'd the ship go? Sensors show warp residue, but no trail. No sign of them anywhere in range, sir. She's gone. And we contacted Starfleet at that point. The Frankfurt arrived and we searched the entire system. No sign of the ship or any debris anywhere. An examination of the shuttle's sensor log showed some kind of warp overload just as the ship disappeared in a bright flash of light. After the search was concluded, the Okuda and the three of us were ferried back to Earth, and here we are, sirs. Thank you, Captain. We're going to convene in chambers and deliberate. We have your statements, as well as those of your crew members, sensor logs, reports from Frankfurt. We're in recess until tomorrow at 0900. Field here. Edward, it's Carl. I finished studying the sensor logs he sent me. They don't make a whole lot of sense, but I've determined that it seems that Valkyrie was enveloped in some kind of warp shell with some kind of high energy interaction. I have no idea if it was focused in any way, but I'm certain she is out there somewhere. I thought so too, but the Corps of Engineers doesn't seem so certain, Carl. Well, I am, and I think I know enough about warp dynamics to come to conclusions, and that's mine. I'm sending you my report. I'm forwarding a copy to the inquiry panel and the engineering corps. You've got to be exonerated. They can't hold you responsible for a warp accident. I know, but remember that as captain, I'm the one that's ultimately responsible for everything on the ship. But thanks, Carl. You are welcome. Let me know what they conclude. Stuffles out. This inquiry is back in session. <phone rings> Lieutenant Commander Walker, are you and Captain Stanfield ready to proceed? We are, Admiral. Very well. The findings of this inquiry will be read by Captain Pierce. Captain Stanfield, please rise. Yes, Admiral. Captain Edward J. Stanfield, it is the finding of this inquiry regarding the loss of the USS Valkyrie, NCC-2590, and the loss of all but yourself and two other crew members, that you are to be found not negligent in the loss. However, due to the unknown reason or reasons that you be given a non-shipboard assignment while all other avenues of inquiry are ongoing. Further, all other starships currently in service with the same kind of new warp core design be withdrawn from service immediately while the Engineering Corps tries to determine any correlation 
between ion storms and the cores. Captain, you are to report to the Director of Personnel for your new assignment at the close of this session. Captain Stanfield, you understand the findings of this inquiry? Yes, sir. Then, Captain, you're dismissed. This inquiry is closed. Wild, sir. Velocity off the scale. Warning. Navigational Damage scanners control. inoperative. Main Stand sensors by. not giving intelligent readings. Full stop. Hi, sir. Now reading full stop, sir. I want a position report now. Someone get that view screen operational. Travis, anything on sensors? I don't believe this. This can't be right. Travis, are you reading the same thing? Confirmed. Navigational scanners and main sensors are operable and in sync. Well... View screen coming on, Commander. My god! Sir! We've gone to the barrier. We left the galaxy. To be continued. You've been listening to Star Trek Valkyrie, Episode 205, The Inquiry. Starring Jerry Stanford as Captain Edward Stanfield, Michael Liebman as Commander Andrew Miller, Toby Kerfman as Lieutenant Commander Shren, Michael Studeberg as Chief Engineer Paul Elberg, Dean Rogers as Lieutenant Michael Swanson, Jacob Stanford as Lieutenant Travis Reed, Bring Stanford as Lieutenant Gina Bellamy, Alexis Waters as Dr. Ann Ravenwood, John Quan Yun as Lieutenant Stephen Fox, and Andrea Columber as Valkyrie's computer voice. Guest starring Michael Bedner as Governor Bartlett, Michael Day as Ensign Decker, Julia Morizawa as Lieutenant in the Shuttle, Desiree Chambers as Paramore Control, Brad Hathaway as Captain Jeffrey Pierce, Irene Waits as the Starfleet Receptionist, Bill McKenzie as Lieutenant Commander John Walker, and special guest Doug Drexler as Admiral Alvin Douglas. Music by Jerry Goldsmith, Cliff Eidelman, Ron Jones, Dennis McCarthy, Jay Chataway, and Kevin Manthe. Original theme music for Valkyrie by Jesse Richardson. The Inquiry was directed and mixed by Jerry Stanford. Audio play by Jerry Stanford. Your announcer is Andrea Columber. Star Trek Valkyrie is based on Star Trek created by Gene Roddenberry. Star Trek is a registered trademark of Paramount and CBS, all rights reserved. Star Trek Valkyrie is not affiliated with Paramount, CBS, or any other Star Trek rights holders. No copyright infringement is intended. Star Trek Valkyrie is a production of Glass City Communications. Executive producer is Jerry Stanford. Visual arts director for Valkyrie is Video Space FX. Stay tuned for our next episode, available for free download at StarTrekValkyrie.com and available on YouTube, youtube.com slash user slash ValkyrieNCC2590.